<laughs> go. Okay, uh, here we are again, sports fans. Um, we washed the block with detergent. We scrubbed the cylinders. Uh, yours truly, Mr. Max, holding the camera. The cameraman was the pressure washer man. So we uh, gave it a good blast. <laughs> Uh, and then we brought it in the garage and we put the 60,000 BTU heater on it and got it good and warm, blew everything out with air real good, uh, gave it to WD-40 everywhere and now we're going to put cam bearings in. Now this is a snap-on tool, uh, other uh, guys make it too I'm sure. Uh, I happen to have this uh, for many years. Anyway. There's an expanding mandrel on here uh, that you can see has got rubber rings. So there's, uh, there, there's of course, a sundry different size cam bearings. Now there's a big heavy iron washer goes on here. Then you put this expanding mandrel on. Then you get to approximate size where your cam bearing like just slips on there, see? So the rubber rings protect the bearing itself and it's a it's like a bushing you knock it in say so, so you expand a little bit more now obviously you can't put the cam bearing in through here because you got to start at number five four three two one so all these cam bearings are oiled by this hole here this hole comes from the main gallery hits the uh, main saddle bearing crosses over and then oils the camshaft. Now we we and we should probably have a light. Get that stupid stick light. Uh, you can see that we marked with two little black marks there uh, where the hole is. See. Now the cam bearing, as you see here, I don't know if you can see that, uh, is slotted. So you get a little wiggle room there. So so basically, you feed your cam bearing tool carefully through the first four cam bores until you get over near the fifth. Now you've slipped the cam bearing on. Now you've already kind of sized your little rubber dicks here. And there's four of them I think on there. Anyway, it hits that ledge at, at the edge of the cam tool. See? Now these bearings are chamfered on both sides so you can't put them in long. So you get over here and you twist this until the bearing is good and snug. See, you feel that you can't really move it. That's what you want. Then, you see that slot? Now we got it lined up approximately the middle of the two black marks. Now see, there we go. You gotta make sure it's seated. And then, you take your mash hammer, and I don't think we got our mash hammer out here. Where, on the bottom? Okay, here's our mash hammer. Just the biggest hammer you got? No, you want bigger? Yeah. Here we're back again. We're checking out the bearing, make sure it's tight. Make it, they provide a little hole here that you can put a Phillips through there or whatever to make sure it's tight. But our bearing feels pretty tight. And we line it up again. You can see the slot. And then you, you just kind of wiggle it around a little. Then at the other end, there's a centering cone. It's made out of nylon. Now you push the centering cone in the front bearing. And you got your bearing started in there on the chamfer, see? Then you take your mash hammer. Now, you only want to put the edge of the bearing at the block because there's a plug that uh, you have to put in once you take the engine off the stand, you forget the plug, the oil just runs out the back of the motor. So you have to have that plug in. Now you do that afterwards. You cannot drive the bearing in too far. So you take your hammer and you give it a whack. And you can see the bearing move there. See? And you whack it again and again. Until... It's flush. Now my cameraman is taking a good look at it. And I think it's getting close to being flush. Yeah, a little more. Okay, take a good look at that. That's it. Uh, yeah, there we are. Now we have our cam, our number five cam bearing put in. 
you have to t hold the main mandrel, unscrew it, which takes the pressure off the rubber dick rings in there, and you pull it out. See, the rubber rings, of course, protect the bearing. See, now there's a little edge there. We could probably, yeah, I think we're all right. Looks good. And then you can see on the other side, when you look, flash the light in, that this area here is where the plug drives in, the cup plug. That keeps the oil pressure in along with these screw-in quarter-inch uh, plugs here for the galleries. You have to put those in too. But that's number five cam bearing. See? Now to check it, you take your light, shine it down the hole, and you should be able to, you should be able to see something. I don't know if this light's going to work there to go the other way. Yeah. Let me take the cam tool out. I'll take that out. And then we'll shine the light through. Okay. Now the light, we can fish through here. And then you should be able to see a nice tiny deal of light coming up that hole. See that? That means you got oil going straight through that hole to lubricate the cam. And one of the reasons you put cam bearings in, and you can see it's not hard to do. A lot of guys figure, ah, to gods, I won't put the bearings in, you know. But you want good oil pressure. So new cam bearings, nice and tight, good oil pressure. That's what you want. Anyway, sports fans, we're going to now start on number four cam bearing and it's basically the repeat of number five which we got the little marks there we do this we do the same thing rinse and repeat we'll be back yeah